Let's head outside to the weather deck with meteorologist Lydia Knox right now. We do have that weather alert tonight for that snow that's yes. coming in, plain and simple. Yes, we're going to see the snow in just a few hours here. Right now it's quiet, and actually we saw the sunshine earlier on this morning, which helped melt away some of that snow from earlier on in the week as well as the ice. But now we are getting hit with another system coming actually out of the southwest that's going to impact central New York in just a couple of hours. Our winter weather advisories are those areas shaded in pink, and you can see the counties there, much of central New York, and actually farther towards the south as well. But you can notice Jefferson, Lewis, and Oswego are not in that winter weather advisory. That's because they're not expected to get as much snowfall, at least as the southern half of the state will see. And those winter weather advisories go in effect until 2 p.m. tomorrow. Temperature in Syracuse is currently 27 degrees. You can see those colder teens up towards the north, 35 degrees in New York. But we won't be getting that warm over the next couple of days. It's actually going to remain pretty chilly in upstate New York. Our live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Falso Service Experts is showing some shades of white here, even a little bit of dark blues actually. But most of the snow is actually not reaching the surface. As you can see, it's dry outside right now. We are expected to get some of that snow in just a few hours. I would say between the 8 to 10 o'clock time frame. So here's a wide view out. You can see where that low pressure system is sitting. Rain towards the south where those temperatures are a little bit warmer, but a little bit of that mix there in Pennsylvania and the snow farther towards the north, and that's what we'll be expecting. We're not going to be seeing any of that ice accumulation as we saw earlier on the week, and that's one good thing about this system. Timing out the next couple of hours, again, I would say between that 8 to maybe 11 o'clock time frame is when we're going to start to pick up on some light snow. Throughout the overnight hours, it's going to then make its way into Lewis, Oswego, as well as Jefferson County, becoming heavy at times, and then linger on into the Monday morning hours. So when you wake up early Monday, if you have to head out during the 7 to 8 o'clock time frame, make sure you factor in extra time to maybe clear off your car, shovel out your driveway, and also just take it slow on the road because there certainly will be slick spots as that snow will have accumulated during the overnight hours. I would say by tomorrow during the lunch hour, though, most of the snow is going to begin to taper off. And during the evening commute, I don't think you're going to see as many issues as you will compared to the morning. Our snowfall forecast showing that mainly two to four inches is going to fall across most of our counties. Some areas could see a little bit higher, maybe four to six inches. Your drive time forecast for tomorrow morning. It's not going to be as pretty as the afternoon. You again can see those snow showers are likely fresh coating of snow on the ground will lead to slick spots with 22 degrees to start off and temperatures are going to reach 26 degrees by the midday hours, but falling throughout the day. For your evening forecast, 21 degrees as an overnight low, light snow developing heavy at times, and then tomorrow tapering off during the, out, the day with a high of 26 and falling slightly breezy. Looks like Tuesday is going to be an improvement, though. 22 is our high temperature, but we're going to see quieter conditions, and then towards the middle of the week, that's when we can get another winter.